kids, so you guys are probably like, what do you use for if there were an emergency, like if someone sprained their ankle and and you didn't want to go to the doctor and you just wanted to wrap it and you didn't want to go to the store, well, you should make a first aid kit. First aid kits. Do you see? I like their warning. It says first aid only. It's like a warning. See that? First aid only. So this is our emergency kit. And I'm going to share with you what is in it. Here's my binder. So the first thing I'm going to show you because it's already out because I'm going to add it is wrap. We are almost out so we need to stock up on that. But let me go. I haven't looked in here for a while, so I really don't know what to expect. So what I like is it has little, it's like a binder. Yeah, it, it, they have like medication or they have medications. They have instru instruments. I guess that's what they call something. First I'll show, I'll show, I'll share with you what's back here. So what we have back here is this, there's a fluid called like stuff that gets stuff out of your eye or it gets like drugs out of you I guess if that's what it says and then we have an instant cold pack and then we have an iPad just in case someone hurt their eye and you don't want them to open their eye because it can be dangerous if you have them open your eye and then this I don't know what this is a big Vaseline kit. A big one. A really big one. No, this is not the right pocket. So, yeah, we have a bunch of those Vaseline kits. No idea why. We're, fam we're a family that just stocks up on everything. And we have, I don't know if this has been used, but it's a thing you uh, put in their mouth. And check if they're sick or whatever you would say. Then we have these ibuprofen packets, just in case someone needed, like, to come down. And then these, uh, this is antibiotic ointment. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying. So let me lay this down. And then this is non-aspirin and it's extra strength. So, then we have... The real aspirin. Next, we have. I'm just gonna use this because nice clean towel wet. So if they had an injury and it was all by, you kind of want to wipe it so uh, it doesn't get infected and you could get all the germs out. Then I'm gonna look what this is. Alco alcohol prep pad. I don't know what it does, but if you know. Comment down below. Yeah, my dad got this from his work, actually. So, if it said, if it, like, because he's, like, works at DreamEd, so. And what's this? What's this? What's this? This is an antiseptic cleansing wipe. And it's sting-free, so if you're patient at a alley and they didn't want to get stung with, like, a towelette, use these because it says and it also says keep out of reach of children because they can open it they might put it in their mouth and it's not good it's not good it's not good i don't really know why it's not good i'm just saying that because my dad's told me that before and then we have nothing in there and we have something in here let me velcro you back on i'm trying to velcro this back on now let's look on the other end on this end, which, and it's, this is an emergency survival blanket. So, it's small, but it turns big. So, like, if you were on a trip and you had extreme coldness there, you use this because it keeps you up. And then we have a sterile sterile I don't know just gauze slash dressing pads and then we have I don't really want to 
drama pad. Oh, I know where, I know what to do with these. I think we already used one. Next, we have an ice pack, which was already used. Then we have Castell Soap Talouette. And let's see if it's sting free. Uh, I don't think it is. And then we have, if I can open this, ew, it feels gross in here. Okay, then we have a, some band-aids. And what else do we have? We also have more like tape, which I'm going to put in. We have tape, we have... Butterfly crushers. I don't know what those are. But there's something. It's something. And we have more of those stick. Let me get that. Ooh, my back cracked. So, yeah. That's basically what my family keeps. In their first aid kits. And I don't know if my dad got this out of store. Or if he got it work. I'm pretty sure he got it from work. And, yeah. And then... I also recommend to have like some alcohol. It's not like real alcohol. It's just an alcohol rubbing and like, cause I got um, I stepped on glass and I still have a scar on the bottom of my foot. But I'm not gonna show you that. I might. I'm gonna think about it. Um, I stepped on it because our sliding glass was shattered and glass was everywhere. My mom thought she cleaned it all, but no, she didn't. She didn't. And. Um, once my mom, like, yanked it out, which really, really hurt, my mom or dad, I don't remember, put that alcohol rubbing stuff on my foot, and it didn't sting. It didn't sting. Then I had to wrap my foot up. Gotta wrap it up. Gotta wrap it up. Gotta wrap it up. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to end this video. Please subscribe. Comment down below if you have a first aid kit and what do you mainly keep in there. Don't share everything, just like things that you mostly have in there. And also, if you don't have a first aid kit, then you can comment down below any broken bones or close to broken bones you've had. So I will see you who knows when. So bye.